Hello guys and welcome to a short video about the STP1008 joystick uh, and it will be an instruction video about everyday use, uh, cleaning systems and so on. So let me start by first walking around this machine and explain what are the different components and where they are located. So this unit like I mentioned is a uh, joystick operated version of the machine. So it is operated by one man which is sitting in the cabin. It is a driver which has a joystick to operate all of the blow patching uh, process by this machine. Later on, in the front part of the machine, we've got the department of, uh, of different valves, which let us control the flow of emulsion within the circuit, within the different circuits of the machine. And we will get back to this a little bit later on. These doors uh, above the level of my head here uh, are meant to pour in the emulsion uh, from the emulsion plant. Uh, of course, we can fill in this uh, machine by the action of the pump, by the use of this connection, but also this will be covered later on until we get to this uh, part of the machine. On the left side, the back of this machine, we've got the main electrical box where we can start the engine, turn on the pump with its full speed for the purpose of filling in the emulsion and filling out. We can start the uh, additional heating circuit which allows us to heat the coat of the emulsion pump and filter. We may start the burner and we may start the warning light. Uh, what is very important to say that by these newest machines uh, we use the Riello RG1 burners which have the internal heating of fuel. So after you turn the burner on, uh, please don't get angry that it doesn't start in 10 seconds. It will need a little bit of time to heat up the, uh, the diesel inside and then it will surely start. If there will be any problem with the circuit uh, of, uh, of the fuel or, uh, or the lack of fuel for the burner, then we will find this red light uh, on the main box with the solid LED red light. With this key, we start the engine. The first position is the speed for the pump. And after turning it on, the three cylinder adds. purpose of the video of course I will turn it off uh, but later on I will show you how it operates under normal condition and how to change the speed uh, of the engine. In the back part of the machine we've got the uh, rear uh, light arrow which allows us to keep the front of the truck and the back of the truck as well uh, safe. So by this small control box after opening it with a special key we may either turn the left arrow, right arrow or a cross sign which would uh, allow us to, to stop the traffic after ourselves. Later on, if we look on these left, these doors on the left side, uh, they would allow us to check the level of hydraulic fluid in the main uh, circuit, hydraulic circuit of the machine. These small doors on the other hand will allow us to fill in the tank with diesel. This diesel tank serves for both purposes. It gives the diesel for the Hatz engine and it gives the diesel for the Riello burner as well. In the back of the uh, of this diesel tank you will find the electrical converter for 230 volts. Uh, this uh, kind of solution is necessary to provide the power for our burner which runs on 230 volts. Please never connect anything else uh, than it is connected already to this machine. Don't use it to connect any drill especially uh, or even a pot if you want to make yourself some tea. It is only designed to withstand the parameters of our burner. There is some uh, other compartment in here where you can place some hoses or, or some stuff that will be used later on in the process of everyday uh, pothole blow patching. Later on, on the left side, here we will find the emulsion filter. Pretty simple uh, stuff. Heated by the heat exchanger fluid. Coat is heating this emulsion filter in the same way the pump is heated, which allows us uh, trouble-free startup every day. Uh, please make sure to, to clean this filter thoroughly uh, around uh, every season. Just open it up, clean it with the open fire and then you will be uh, sure that there will be no risk of blocking of the emulsion within the, uh, within the machine. Later on with the joystick version of the machine we've got this operator panel and the joystick on the left side to provide the movement of the joystick which is of the joystick uh, operated arm in the front. So by the first left switch, we control in which way 
the bird, the auger should spin left and right. The second switch tells us which uh, aggregate compartment we want to use. If it's the big aggregate compartment or smaller aggregate compartment. Another switch is the uh, emulsion pump. It allows us to spin the emulsion at the desired speed, which we set up here with this potentiometer. The same way we set up the speed of the augers. If we turn them left, for example, we now have the small auger. We will control the small auger with this potentiometer and the big auger with this potentiometer. This regulates their speed and, of course, in effect, this regulates the amount of aggregates that are dosed into the front operating arm. This switch uh, in the newest versions of Hatz engines uh, controls the speed of engine. We have three levels and only the, the third level uh, will allow us to uh, do the process of blow patching. To continue with the process of blow patching, we will control this joystick on the left side. And we may move the working arm in three different axes. We may move it forward, backward, of course, left and right. And also with our thumb, we may move it up and down. The left switch will be responsible for spraying the emulsion. The second switch will be responsible for starting the augers and in the same time uh, opening the bypass. And one switch on the right side here will be responsible for turning on the gyroscope. The, 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 the gyroscope in the front has a small hydro motor which spins uh, around uh, in a small in a small axis, providing uh, additional uh, safety to not build up the pileup of, uh, of materials in front of this machine. And of course, the last thing, the emergency stop. Please always make sure that it is turned outside when you start the engine, because either way it will not start if it's pressed on. We'll see. Okay, guys, so we will start by describing for you uh, one of the most important uh, places uh, in the STP1008 blow patcher. Uh, this is a part of the machine where we set up the different flow uh, in the circuit of emulsion within and around this machine. So we will start by preparation of this machine for uh, everyday startup. And we do it by turning on the burner on the main uh, electronic box, of course, outside of the machine. And we wait until we reach at least 40 Celsius degrees. We read the temperature of uh, the emulsion on this little analog gauge. We control the temperature by this uh, thermostat. Now, after we have reached the 40 Celsius degrees, we are able to start the circulation uh, by the pump, uh, which will allow us to, to get to the temperature of 60, 65 Celsius degrees, which is the working temperature uh, of uh, bitumen emulsion uh, much quicker. So after we have reached 40 Celsius degrees, we go into the cabin and we start the emulsion pump. After the emulsion pump is started, we may open the main outlet of the emulsion, which is described here always with this label and going, allowing the emulsion to flow through the pump, through this valve, through this valve and back to the tank where it will mix much better by the use of the pump. Now, when we mix and heat up the emulsion simultaneously, we wait until it reaches 60 Celsius degrees. After it has reached 60 Celsius degrees, 65, depending on the specification of the bitumen emulsion, we may now start the circulation through the main operating arm or main operating boom, which is located in the front. To provide the circulation by this circuit, by the front operating boom circuit, we turn this valve like it is described below in this direction. So we now have the flow of emulsion going through the pump and into the pipe, which goes straight to the front working boom. Now the emulsion will go with this hose and come back through this valve. This valve will be used to regulate the pressure of working. Uh, please always take a look on the pressure of bitumen. There is a gouge there. Always make sure to set up two bars for spraying. So the valve will be have to open and then you just set it up once, leave two bars uh, for the spraying action. Now of course then we go and control the process of uh, spraying by the joystick operations from the cabin. Uh, and after which we can proceed uh, to clean the machine after every day. So what we need to do is of course first we need to close the main valve which supplies us with the emulsion. After that, allow me to enter here, we will open the valve which allows us to clean the circuit. First, always make sure to have uh, at least eight bars of the pressure of air built 
uh, which you can find on this uh, on this gauge outside. This pressure is built from the truck air brake compressor uh, and it allows us to clean the circuit of bitumen emulsion. So now we have opened this valve, we need to blow the air through the main uh, working boom. We do it by opening this valve for five, six seconds. We make sure now that the air has blown through the emulsion circuit through the main bar and as much as emulsion as it was possible came back through this hose. Always make sure to open this hose fully when blowing air through this circuit of the front operating boom. Now we have blown the air through the circuit. We may pour in the diesel inside of this cleaning tank. After which we open this slightly, let the air blow through. The pump is always running at this point and we go into the cabin and we start the and we open the nozzle. So we want to blow through the circuit with the diesel and air and open the nozzle in the front to have the nozzle clean. Uh, now we are sure that this uh, circuit of the uh, of the front working arm is clean. We may clean this small circulation. Once again, we leave this valve opened. We blow the air through. For a few seconds, we will hear the bubbles going into the emulsion tank. After which, we may pour the diesel uh, inside. We pour the diesel inside, and once again, we blow the air through. The last part is just put a little bit of diesel inside of the tank, turn off the pump and open this valve. So we will leave by gravity the diesel in the pump just for the night to make sure that there will be no risk of blocking uh, of the pump. We may do the same uh, for the front operating arm as well. So we just open the valve, pour a little bit of diesel in, open it up, make it make sure that it goes gravitationally there. And voila, this is, this is the, the end of the cleaning procedure. Okay guys, so here now we are looking one of the most important <coughs> places of this machine. This is the engine bay of the STP1008-6000. Uh, this machine is designed for the European market, so it is equipped with the newest HATS uh, 3H engine. This engine conforms to the EU uh, EPA st stage 4 final uh, exhaust emission regulations and also EU stage 5 emission regulations. It is equipped with the catalytic converter DPF, common rail, turbos, intercoolers and everything uh, what's necessary to provide the cleanest uh, exhaust fumes. Now later on, on the right side, we have the ground switch. Please always remember to turn it off after you end the day. So we never have, we never face any loss of energy. We've got the battery, high pressure, uh, hydraulic filter. Then there's a small tank which is used for us uh, as a tank for the heat exchanger. There is a, a coolant liquid inside and we steal the heat of the Hatz engine uh, into purpose of uh, heating our coat uh, of emulsion filter and emulsion pump with a separate pump and a separate circuit of this liquid, which is right there. Later on, on the left side of the engine, uh, we have the Kezer Omega main blower. It provides around 12.4 cubic meters uh, of air per minute, and it is responsible for uh, all the process of blow patching in this machine. Uh, let me only show you where we check the oil in this engine by this red knob. Always make sure to turn it up, uh, possibly every week, Please try to check the level uh, of oil just to, 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 to prevent any damage of engine. Now, later on the left side, we've got the hydraulic tank. You can see the level of fluid within this hydraulic tank from the outside. There's a special uh, revision door on the left side. This is the air filter for the main blower. This is the air filter for the engine. Hydraulic cooler. And that's pretty much it around the chamber of of the yeah.